Welcome to the Boston Rob Show, episode one, two, three. Today's episode, I wanted to phrase it in the Friends episode way, so we'll say it the one where Boston Rob updates you on his life. For all the Friends fans, Joey was the best. For those of you who don't know, I'm not in San Diego anymore. I made a pilgrimage back to the Mecca of Lobster Tales. And not the tale of a crustacean. I'm talking about the pastry. It's like a croissant, but crispy. It's got some kind of filling. I don't know if it's whipped cream with powdered sugar. I don't I don't know how they make it, but I'm addicted to them. I came back to work at WAAF, and then I got blasted. Sound effects, sound effects, sound effects. I don't know if I could do sound effects yet. I'm still working on editing on just the phone. I got laid off just about a year ago. And I didn't really say anything about it. And of course, AAF, they swept it on the rug. They were like, that guy, no, we don't know him. Never worked here before. <laughs> well, I think the boss there, not anyone on the show. Love all those people. The boss guy at AAF just hated me. Nothing personal. He just didn't like who I was. It's a year after I got there, our ratings went to number one. No joke, one time when we were number one, the boss told me not to tell LB and was serious about it said don't because I didn't want him going out celebrating. So that was kind of the environment I worked in. Don't tell anybody we're number one. We don't want them to be happy. Shady character. You know those kind of people. We'll just call them empty promises. The EPs, right? The empty promise you anything. It's like when you have a used car and you want to go trade it in. Well, at that car dealership, that salesman is a used used car salesman. He sells used used cars. It's like that kind of empty promise person. I ain't saying nothing's wrong with any of this. I just didn't jive with it, you know? There's people that gotta be out there selling those used used cars. That has to exist, so I get it. You know, there was one time where I was sitting in his office and he was telling me that he's pretty cool with the Bible except for one story. That one story happened to be where Jesus tells the rich guy, give up all your stuff and go be poor, and that's how you can follow me. And how convenient. The story that probably applies to you best is the one you don't want to listen to. I have that same problem. The story where Jesus tells this really cool dude who started a YouTube show to not trash people on it. Where Jesus said, thou shall not talk ish about people on your YouTube show. So I get it. Woo, I'm spilling the beans now, boy. Just kidding. Is it typical But when a boss goes, you write the letter of recommendation, I'll just sign it. That's how I usually do it. That's how everyone does it. Well, I did it. I even had a friend proofread it. We altered some things and I never got it back. I wrote the letter. Even weeks after I was gone, I wrote this guy and said, hey, did you happen to sign my letter of recommendation that I wrote yet? Nothing. Hey, any chance I get that letter of recommendation? He ghosted me. Turns out, I don't need a letter of recommendation to have a YouTube show. What? Sound effect. Ba, 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 ba. So, for those of you who didn't know, or maybe some people still think I'm on Rock 105.3 in San Diego. I'm not. So I'm not working in radio anymore. First time in 17 years. I don't know what to do with myself. Ah, just kidding. I totally know what to do with myself. I am a stay-at-home dad. And being a full-time dad is kind of a dream job. <laughs> It does get tough at times. <laughs> let me see. I'll let you. Everybody sit down. But I get to have a blast with my kids. I teach them a lot about art. What? What are you doing, Robbie? Are you doing art? Art. Art. Very good. Oh. But there are some things with being a dad that I either underestimated didn't expect or just didn't know about. Somebody needs to write a book. And just like women had it made in the 50s and they got to stay at home while their man brought home the bacon, now in the aughts or the aught teens, what are we calling it after the 2000s? Aught teens? Yeah, in the aught teens, now men got it made. Men are staying home with the babies. We're not breastfeeding though, that'd just be weird. The things I didn't understand when it came to dadding were stuff like how fat I'd get. Look at me. Basically, my diet consists of kid leftovers. But where I really didn't anticipate gaining weight 
having to eat my food from the store like right away. I had no idea kids' tastes evolved so quickly. Like, from the time you left the grocery store till the time you got home, these three little piglets see me eating something and all of a sudden it looks fantastic when at the grocery store everyone's saying they're on a diet, saying that they didn't want to eat, saying that that's not good for you. What? So that's part of the reason I'm getting fat. I'm trying to polish off a BJ sized bag of salt and vinegar chips myself because if I don't, by the next day, it's gone. So here I am. 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight, but happy. <laughs> Do the kids hear me? I am still looking for work. I've even gone on a few interviews via Skype. Well, look at me in the future. I'll tell you, my favorite one was with Comedy Central. They asked me if I would commute to 30 Rock every day. So I'm still looking for work. Those of you who are watching and maybe thinking about hiring, I could shave and put on pants. It's the great thing about a YouTube show. I can do this whole thing sans pants. And that's another thing. I've been married for quite a few years now. My wife is amazing. Just imagine if God decided to come back, but this time as a kick-ass woman. Fellas, let me give you some advice. Whenever you get in a fight with your lady and it's hard to forgive or apologize, I said forgive. Think about that first time you met her. I'll never forget the first time I met my wife. But. Just think back to when you first met that woman and how taken you were by her. That should make it easier for you to apologize. I don't know, it's never happened to me. I've never had to apologize, but. <laughs> so there's a quick life update. I'm a dad, I'm a beloved husband, and I got my own YouTube show. I'm gonna be like the Jimmy Kimmel of YouTube as soon as I get a little studio to produce this in. But I'm still wearing this shirt. It was a Valentine's Day gift from my mom. Make sure you subscribe. Did I miss something? I'm still sober. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Much love. Spread love. Click subscribe. I'm going to have some special guests coming up soon. We're going to discuss stuff like, what does the saying, we out here, mean? I don't know. I think it's native to the hipster language.